Jeremy Schwab. Jeremy Schwab. Uh, I'm from Japan. May I ask from? you for? Uh, I'm from Japan. Yeah. And may I uh, ask you for a comment? No, we're, we're on our we're no, on our way to the next thing. We're a bit late. Uh, oh, I but can just you. walk with thank you, you and then ask oh, questions. I think we're gonna we're gonna rush actually. But thank you. Uh, Thanks very much. Uh, but, uh, which which, which uh, media are you with? Uh, I am an independent journalist from yeah, Japan. Yeah, no, thank you very much. <laughs> yes. I have and, to ask. Thank but you. thanks for thank, thank you. But I I, I want to ask thank just you. just one more one question. Uh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Sorry, we're in a big rush. We've got so many things tonight. But, but for us, but it's, thank very, you. it's very. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. You can, I can. He's got so many people stopping yeah, that yeah. if you were to stop for everything, yeah, we win. That's the unfortunate. Yeah. So I'm very sorry, but thank uh, you. But thank you for trying. Do, do you know the thank voice you. that uh, worry about good globalism? Thank you. There are many thank concerns. you. Nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. It's pretty extraordinary that we select group of human beings because of whatever touched us at some point in our lives, are able to sit in a room and come together and um, actually talk about saving the planet. I mean, it's so almost extraterrestrial to think about, quote, saving the planet. And if you said that to most people, most people, they think you're just a crazy tree-hugging, lefty, liberal, you know, do-gooder, whatever. I'm convinced we will get to a low-carbon, no-carbon economy. We're going to get there because we have to. I am not convinced we're going to get there in time to do what the scientists said, which is avoid the worst consequences of the crisis. So how do we get there? Well, the lesson I've learned in the last years, and I learned it as secretary and I've learned it since, reinforced in spades, is money, 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 money. This is a safety crisis, but above all, it is also a justice crisis. Many areas in the world are uninhabitable. This uninhabitable zone is increasing. If we continue with our greenhouse gas emissions, then by 2070, as many as 3 billion people will live in uninhabitable zones. We need in this century a safe and just corridor for all people to exit the danger zone, but also to ensure that all people have access to basic needs, rights, uh, rights to uh, water, food, energy, and infrastructure. Well, every bad thing that happens is a little bit worse for children, and that's what we're seeing. So we see the climate crisis as really a child health crisis. In my country, we passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which is primarily a climate uh, act. And I predict that we will have proteins not coming from um, meat in the future. They will probably taste even better. So why are we trying to mimic meat if we can have a better taste? They will be zero carbon and much healthier than the kind of food that we eat today.